get that to do these live videos. All right, we're live. Hello, everyone. This is Fernando with Zen's Tea House, and this is Zen's Tea Facebook Live. We're also live streaming on YouTube. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. In this video series, we're going to be talking about tinctures, specifically homeopathy. A lot of people don't know about the potencies of teas and herbs, let alone natural ways to dilute through a process that has been around since the 18th century is an effective way to help improve the health. People think that natural alternative medicine is hodgepodge. It's not real. It doesn't work. Well, I would beg to differ because there are thousands of people, if not millions, in the United States that are using it on a daily basis. There are medical institutions that are dedicated to educating people about natural herbs and remedies, but not just on teas and herbs. That's what Zen's Tea House specializes in, but more specifically, natural health. This four-month series on how to live with less stress, more rest, and the peace of mind, got to think about mental health, the peace of mind knowing you are living a healthier life, that's what Zen's Tea House is promoting this year. Okay? So, by the way, if you want to see the video more, click the link below. Instagram, you don't have access to it, but people who are live streaming on Facebook and YouTube, uh, you can just, there's a bottom link right now. It says video. You could click on that. You'll see Sydney. She's the manager. She's the one who's talking about the homeopathic benefits of a turmeric infused tincture. Last week, we did a video. It's kind of spontaneous with Mr. Good. You can go onto our YouTube channel and see Mr. Good. He has been a longtime customer for since I think 2013. He's been buying these herbs from Zen's Tea House and he's been making his own tinctures. He sells them at his barber shop. At, I believe it's Avalon Beauty Salon. And he has a track record of being able to help his patients using natural health care. We're going to cover how he's using cayenne pepper to effectively improve his patient's health. Well, not patients, they're really his clients. Because uh, let's be honest, the only way you have a patient is if you're a medical physician who is licensed by the state. The only way you become a medical physician that is licensed to practice healthcare, you got to work the system, play the system. And, and let's be honest, right now, anytime you mention natural health, the, you just get shut down. So. I'm neither here nor there. I want to just kind of put that out as a disclaimer. So let's get started. So tinctures, homeopathy specifically, has was started by a German medical physician in the 18th century. He was a chemist. He was a, phys, uh, a physicist. And he believed that you could use a, a type of uh, virus and illness to cure the virus and illness. Again, people might push this into the category of alternative medicine. It's a pseudoscience. That is not true at all. The Queen of Britain of London, she actually, uh, her main medical physician, her doctor, actually prescribes homeopathies using tinctures, all right, tinctures to help the royal family. Uh, there's a few ways you can use tinctures. I'm kind of put the display right here, right there. Oops, kind of trying to get the both. Um, you can use it using plants, plant-based, which is what this tincture is for, uh, using uh, turmeric, ginger, CBD. Uh, you can use the same tincture from animals. You can also do it for minerals. Mineral deficiencies are what tinctures can be used for. There's multiple ways of making tinctures. The challenge is, is finding consistency. Consistency, consistency is very difficult when you're using organic products. That's why pharmaceuticals, prescription drugs are often administered as an effective way, an effective way to help with healthcare. Why not organic medicine? Because organic is subject to rainfall. The potency fluctuates. Even when you're using animals and minerals, well, with homeopathy, the philosophy like, like cures like or suffering, the, the illness that you have the suffering from, you could actually use the components of that illness to actually build up immunities naturally. 
It's not something that was really popular this last 20, 20 year. Can't imagine why. Uh, but you, you can use natural therapeutics as a way to improve your health. And one of the ways is through tinctures. Tinctures are not always, um, well, I should say homeopathy isn't always in a liquid form. You can also use powders. Powders, uh, CBD powders, uh, CBD isolate is one of them. Uh, but the way it works is it's a, it's a type of concentration and it's diluted. That con it's like a super potent potency and then it's infused with either alcohol or some sort of liquid to uh, preserve its natural healing properties. Uh, it's, these dosages are individualized. Just like there is no universal medicine, there is no universal homeopathic solution. You can use cayenne pepper, you can use uh, turmeric infused uh, CBD tincture, but what works for you may not and, and will not work for everyone else. That's just not how our bodies work. Ayurvedic medicine has shown that there are people who have pata, vita, kava, or pata, vita. Uh, these are types of uh, body types where you're really hot, really cold. It depends. Uh, it actually plays. It's a factor in how your body interacts with not only medicine but the food you eat. So these dosages, I want to just make very clear, it's not universal, but it's very practical. And for people who want a more natural approach to to their health, they can use uh, homeopathy. Homeopathy, uh, it's been used time and time again. There's uh, the clinical outcomes. Uh, for homeopathic medicine has uh, been consistent. Uh, it's actually no extra cost typically for people who are looking for a more uh, financially uh, cost-effective way to improve their health. Homeopathy typically far better uh, of a price of a deal than the pharmaceuticals. Uh, it reduces the potential hazards of using prescription drugs. Um, right here, smart, smart, I'll just pull it right here. You know, some people say smart medicine for healthier living. Uh, there's a saying, let your food be your medicine and your medicine be your food. If you like that saying, give it a thumbs up. That's over 2,000 years ago when that was written by um, Dr. Oh, my gosh. I say it all the time. Um, first one to mention it is going to get a free matcha. Actually, the first one to mention the doctor who said that, I know who it is. It's not a hypocrite. Um, we'll actually get a free one of these. Free. Just got to pay for shipping, which I think is $9.99. So first one to give a comment below, we'll get that. Uh, it, so we'll send two, one for, actually we'll send three. Okay, one for Facebook, one for Instagram, and one on YouTube. First three, and I'm going to time it. And then after that, uh, you'll have to send an email to Fernando at zenst.com to make sure you get this free tincture. Okay, that's I hope that's the summary. It's really short. It's sweet. Want to let you know homeopathy. It's existed uh, it, since the 18th century. It has a long track record of being effective ways to help improve your health. It doesn't always come from plants. It comes from animals. Uh, it can come from minerals. Uh, typically, it's known for plants. And the clinical outcome is consistently just across the board as an effective way to improve one's health. For people who want more information, um, this is one of my favorite books. My father-in-law gave this to me. It's a the Green Pharmacy Herbal Handbook. Hope you like it. If, uh, if you want, I can, um, I can send you the links as well. Just email me, Fernando at zenst.com. And finally, this is another book that I used. Uh, my wife bought this for me. My wife has her degree in uh, natural na uh, health science. And she is a health education teacher. Uh, did we, did we get a first comment? Let me take a look. There's a little information below. Oh my gosh, I want these books. Lisa, I ordered them on Amazon. Not, if you like Amazon, you can order them right there. And, or you, or you can go to our cafes or you go to Zen's Tea and uh, one of our physical locations and you can get a copy of these books. All right. I said it. I'm going to repeat again. First one to comment saying, who's the doctor that said, let your food be your medicine. Medicine be your food. We'll get that. You'll either get a free matcha or this tincture. If you want more information on this tincture, 
click the link below. It says video. Click that and you'll get a free tincture right here, okay? Nothing, it's free. I mean, you gotta pay for shipping. Uh, that ensures that you're gonna get it. I'll send you a special promo code. All right, can you please name, send the name of this book? I will get onto your Instagram. If you don't know this, we're a live stream on Facebook and YouTube. Again, if you found this information even the least bit helpful, please give it a thumbs up, tag someone. Not enough people know about natural ways to improve their health. And it's a real disservice. Here at Zen's Tea House, the whole mission is helping people. It's not always selling teas. It's not about selling herbs. It's not about putting a bunch of tinctures in people's cupboards. That's not the goal. The goal is to change the way people look at health. Because right now, more than ever, people have questions about their health. And there's just not enough information. By the way, last, last and final thing, I'm going to leave it in the comment. It's called www.zensmed.com. Zensmed.com, it's a, it's a pilot program where you will be able to not only research information about, you can't see the video, I'll get you Penny. You'll be able to research virtually any medical question and you will get a natural holistic answer, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoy this video. I got you, Penny. I'll send you it in the link below.